Hi Kim, Oceana here with G3 Agency with your free website audit for Align Concrete Lifting in Denver, Colorado. In this free SEO website audit provided by G3 Agency, I'm going to show you three to four things that you can do to get Align Concrete Lifting in front of the people who are searching for concrete repair services in the Denver metro area. Like I said on the phone, I don't expect anything in return for this video. Um, I do do this stuff professionally, so my um, my opinion is fairly sound, I think. <laughs> and uh, but I really am trying to just positively affect as many locally owned and family owned type businesses as I can. Um, it is my passion. It is the reason I wake up in the morning. So please do with this information what you will. And of course, if you're interested in uh, getting help with this stuff, you can reach out to me and we can go from there. So uh, first thing that I notice when I go to a website is whether or not they have a big click to call phone number right at the top. Uh, you do have a click to call. Uh, actually, you have a phone number listed very predominantly which is fantastic um, the couple of notes that I would I would make is that you're probably going to want to you're definitely going to want to make it a a click to call phone number so that way the 70% of people who are going to be on their mobile phones looking at this site will have um, an easy time just clicking on it having it pull up the the app on their phone to call you and I would also add it to the banner at the top so that as you go down the page, it just stays there. Uh, sticky banner is what we call that. And uh, that'll help to increase the amount of calls you get from the traffic that comes to your site. Um, and But I want to move on now to talking about how to get customers to your site um, so that they even have a chance to see your phone numbers. So. Um, Next, I'm going to talk about uh, content. So how many words are on the page? Are they relevant to what you do? And also, how are the images saved? Are they optimized? So uh, just doing a quick little look over here, I can see that you don't have enough words on your page. Um, I can actually see how many exactly. We have Control A, Control C them in my little word counter here you got 506 so I would I would increase that significantly um, our agency suggests to our clients that they have 3,000 words or more on the home page and 1,500 or more on the other pages the reason for this is that Google believes that if you have more content on a topic that must mean that you know more about that topic so you must be more credible and therefore more relevant to its searchers uh, so you're going to want to increase the amount of words on your home page and you also want to make sure that as you're putting the words on the home page that they're full of high buy your intent keyword keywords um, which I'll talk about how to find those keywords later another place that you want to include those keywords is with your images so if I right click on an image click save image as I can see this was saved as whatsapp image 2019 um, so I can tell that uh, you this was sent via WhatsApp at some point. <laughs> That's not very helpful. Uh, so what you want to do is actually save all these images again, but this time save them as those key phrases that I'll go over. Um, just to that'll help to get uh you in front of people searching online, right? It's simple as that. So that's another way that we can do that. Okay, so now this is the tool that I want to show you. This is Arif's. Um, my company uses this to get an in-depth look into how a website is performing because I'm sure you understand it's one thing for a website to look nice, which yours absolutely does. It looks beautiful, um, but it's a whole other thing for it to actually function as a lead generation machine, which is what I love websites uh, for. <laughs> That's why I love them, right? So. Um, I'm going to show you a few metrics here that are important. So you've got your UR and DR scores here. So UR is um, your URL rating or how trustworthy Google thinks that this exact page is. And then DR, domain rating, is the same thing but for your entire website. And these go up to 100. So these are low scores. This one's low but typical. This one's extremely low. Um, so what this tells me is that you've put some some work into um, yeah, I can see here with the backlinks and referring domains 
Um, you've put some work into your home page, which is nice, but you haven't put that same effort into the other pages on your site, which is causing an imbalance. And it's basically showing, saying to Google, hey, this, this page is pretty good, but the rest of the site kind of looks scammy. So that could be actually hurting your scores or your visibility quite a bit. <clears throat> how you lift this score, uh, you may already know because you've got some uh, backlinks and referring domains here, but I'm going to cover it anyway. Um, you want to get more backlinks and referring domains. And what those are is a backlink is any, any link that goes from another website back to your website is called a backlink and a referring domain is whatever website that link is on. Um, and so you do want to increase these numbers, but you want to be careful. This is a little warning I like to give out because it's important. Um, you want to get backlinks from referring domains that have high scores here, specifically the DR score and that are relevant to your business. So whether it was a, a website about the area that you're in or about home improvement, or it's another concrete company or something like that, that's gonna help you a lot more, especially if their DR score is high, um, than if it's irrelevant or whatever might be the case, right? So if it's got low scores here, it's irrelevant. That's not going to help you. And then the final thing I want to show you on this page is your organic keywords. So this is uh, basically how many phrases could someone type into Google and have you show up in the first 100 results. Now, unfortunately being in the 11th spot is just about as bad as not existing at all because um, Google only shows the top 10 results, the, the first 10 on that first page of the result of the results. <laughs> and um, hardly anyone goes past the first page. They either find something that they like on that first page or they give up and just don't go further with it. <laughs> Try again later. So uh, it's really important to be on the first page, which is why you could be showing up for 13 keywords but getting zero organic traffic. Now that's traffic just coming from key phrases. So let's go in here and see what you're showing up for and where you're showing up. So concrete lifting Denver, fairly good. I'd say high buyer intent. Someone typing that in is in your area looking for your services. There are 20 people typing that into Google on average each month. It's got a KD of 20, which is pretty high. So I would say this is not one that you want to spend a lot of time on because it's got low volume and high KD and we want high volume, low KD. KD stands for keyword difficulty. And what it is, is on a scale from zero to a hundred again, um, how difficult does this tool Arif's think it will be to get to the first page of Google. And it uses some metrics like, you know, how many backlinks they have and how trustworthy their site is and content, all that kind of stuff um, to figure that out. So this is a pretty high score. I mean, it goes to 100. So that's not an extremely high score, but it's higher than we like to go after because we like to go for the ones that are lower here that are going to get us some quicker wins. So concrete leveling Denver, this one actually is a pretty good one. It's got twice as many people searching for it. It's still not a crazy high amount, but it's good. And it's got that lower KD under five that we really like to see. And you're already on the third page for this and rising. So that's good. So you could throw some uh, gas on the fire <laughs> as they will include this word in your content and save some images like that. And that'll help you actually to show up for that one. Here's a good example of a bad example. So you see how this has 2000 people searching over 2000 people searching for it and it's got that low KD. So right off the bat, you might be thinking, wow, that's a really good one. I want to include it. Well, it's nice, but it does not say anything about the area. So, um, the thing is with this keyword, if someone's typing that in concrete lifting, they could be in Denver or somewhere else in Colorado, maybe, but it's actually much more statistically likely that they're either in Chicago, Los Angeles, or New York, because those are the three major cities in the States. And um, so it's more likely that they're going to be there. So it's not really helpful to try to show up for that keyword. But Denver mud jacking, even though it's got less uh, people looking for it, that is someone who's going to be in your area who is looking for your services. So that's a good one to go after. And there are some other ones that I liked a lot. 
So if I go over here, I can see um, I looked up, you know, the little areas around you and uh, I put in concrete and I said, don't include NC because that's not obviously uh, Colorado. <laughs> uh, so we have concrete repair Denver, zero KD. That's really good. 60 volume. That's decent. Uh, and then we have concrete repair, Colorado Springs, Con uh, Colorado concrete repair and Denver concrete repair. Those are really the four that I would pay attention to on this page below that. It's just the volume is so low, uh, that it's not really worth going after because it's going to take time and effort to actually go after any of these keywords. So, um, these are nice, but I actually was able to find, I, I went down here and I found, um, instead of repair, I found repairs with an S at the end. And there's actually a pretty good one there. Concrete repairs, Denver, it's got zero KD. So it won't happen overnight because SEO doesn't work that way, but this is going to be a quicker win. Um, if you go after that one and it's got almost a hundred people searching for it every month. So that one's a decent one. So I threw that into Google to see what it would look like. Here we go. Uh, so at the top, we have some ads. Most people just skip right past those, though they do have their time and place and they're useful if you know how to play with them correctly. Uh, and then you have the map pack. So how you get up into the map pack is a little different. So I'm just going to talk about that real fast. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that your Google My Business listing is up to date and accurate, specifically your phone number, address, and name of the business. And then you're going to take that same information and plaster it all over different directories online, like Yext, Yelp, City Star, White Pages, Yellow Pages, Facebook, etc. <laughs> what that's going to do is it's going to show Google that you're credible, um, that you're being talked about and you're popular. So that's going to help with your credibility and that's going to help push you up into the, the top of the maps results. And if you end up in the top three for anything that someone searches, you'll end up on this first page, which is really nice. It's, it gives you definitely a good boost to your website. As you can see, it's easy to click the website. And then it also, it, they also display your phone number here. So you'll get more calls, which is nice, but none of that is ex as exciting <laughs> as showing up right here. So this is what we call the number one organic result. right now. It's being held by Yelp, which um, is another indicator that the keyword difficulty is pretty low here. Um, the reason for that, Google would prefer to show a local result like these guys down here or like you. Um, if it thinks that they're worthy of showing up in that first place, they would prefer it if it's pretty close. However, if since it's not pretty close, Yelp won. So uh, what we're going to actually want to do is take a look at these guys right here, the, the first organic local result and we're going to compare you to them and basically go hmm, what are they doing right that they ended up in that first um not the first position they're in the second position but they're on the first page so what are they doing right that we can copy what are they doing that we could do better than them at and how can we surpass them because if we can surpass them and then we can do a little bit better then we can end up at the top spot so uh, we have uh, content, right? So we're looking at how many words they have. Are they relevant? Looks like they have quite a few words, but definitely not that 3000 word minimum. So if we hit that minimum, we're probably going to be seeing some good results from that. And then if we right click on their image, click save image as we can see, they saved it as concrete section repair Denver. So that's okay. Um, but that wasn't one of the keywords that we found, right? So people aren't really typing that in. Uh, if someone did, that would help them, but people aren't typing that. So um, that's another way that we can get ahead. And then right here, we can throw them in that tool, Concrete Repair Denver and Arabs. And we can see that they've been working on their site in general, but they're not doing a whole lot for this specific page. As you can see, they have no backlinks, no referring domains, but they are showing up for some keywords. So you can click on that see what they're showing up for and see if that's something that we want to um, go after as well. Uh, so that's all the time that I really have. Uh, if you want to check out these keywords, you're welcome to pause it. But um, here is my phone number and my email address. Um, thank you so much for taking the time. Sorry, my phone's ringing in the other room, but thank you so much for taking the time and watching this. I look forward to your feedback to find out if this was helpful for you, if you learned anything, um, and to see if there's anything that I can do to help you further. So have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Bye.